Let's shift gears to health matters now, where providing staff with the basic skills is a reliable method of boosting their performance and capacity for efficient service delivery. And that's according to the Chief Medical Director, University of Maiduguri, Ahmed Adidu, Adiju, who spoke at the training organized for staff of the medical institution. TVC News correspondent Jesse Tafida reports. Since its inception in 1983, the University of Maiduguri Teaching Hospital has been able to maintain best standards in providing high quality healthcare services to the nation. The hospital has 1,305 bed capacity, which enables it to provide medical care for patients with life-threatening illnesses, as well as those affected by the 13-year Boko Haram insurgency. Now, the hospital, in synergy with the Walton Center NHS Foundation Trust and the University of Liverpool, organized a training to boost capacity of its staff. Continuous uh, professional development is, to, is key to any success. If we really want to achieve much, then we have to give the skill that is desired to our own staff. So it's just part of the capacity building in stroke and neurosciences. As you know, stroke has a very high burden in the country and we lack centers within that give treatment for emergency stroke. And our aim is to get the best to reduce the medical tourism outside the country. These are people that have all the knowledge and the expertise that are required to set up a, a collaboration mechanism between the University of Medjugorje and uh, the Welsh University. Resource persons at the workshop believe that with world-class equipment put in place by the hospital, the training will ensure improved service delivery for patients. Liverpool in the UK to work together and, and look at avenues for improving uh, training for research uh, and for educational links between the two centres. Um, there's so much potential here and you've got so much equipment and enthusiasm. But I think there are parallels and, and things that we can do together. I think the, the paradigm is shifting. I think you see for yourself here in this institution that is becoming the largest teaching hospital in the country, if not in the sub-Saharan Africa. Some of the stuff or the instrument that we have here, I think is, you know, it can rub shoulders with the one in Europe. Some of the topics discussed include neurosurgery in the 21st century, the overview of stroke and its causes, neuro-oncology, and the role of interventional radiology in the management of stroke. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri.